welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie Ann and in today's video I'm making the perfect quick and easy recipe for fall, hamburger soup in the Instant Pot. What I love about this recipe is that most of these things you're going to have on hand so it's very easy to make. You're going to need some ground beef, potatoes, carrots, onion, beef bouillon, salt and pepper, thyme and parsley, diced tomatoes, and beef broth. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy to make, and it's great for this time of year. The first thing you're going to do is turn your Instant Pot on to saute and then add a little bit of oil. I just had vegetable oil so that's what I used and just add that to the bottom of the pot. Then you will add your ground beef to the pot and let it brown. While it's cooking we're going to start dicing our onion. I'm only using half of an onion because it was very big and I'm just slicing the onion and then I'm going to chop it in my little, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a little vegetable chopper that I got off of Amazon and it's so handy to use this little thing. When the ground beef is almost cooked, you're going to add your diced onion to it and let it just simmer a little bit more until the ground beef is totally cooked and the uh, onion is a little bit more translucent. Next I season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and once the ground beef is totally cooked, I turn the Instant Pot off and just let it sit. Now at this point you could start to chop your other vegetables, but I decided that I didn't want my ground beef to get overcooked just sitting in the pot. So I decided to add all of my wet ingredients right now. So I added the diced tomatoes and then my beef broth and then I also threw in two beef bouillon cubes. Now it's time to chop the carrots and the potatoes. And I wanted to show you this peeler that I just received from my mother-in-law. It's great, it works really well and makes peeling so much easier. So I just thought I would share that. It's KitchenAid and I think she got it at Winners. So I'm cutting all of the carrots into smaller pieces and then putting it through my little chopper again. And I think originally, I don't know how many carrots I pulled out of the fridge, but I ended up using, I think, three carrots in total. I'm doing the potatoes and, I, and it's the same thing. I'm using that same peeler and peeling all of them. And then I am slicing the potatoes. Oh, I should mention I'm washing them first, then slicing them and then putting them through that chopper. And again, I actually peeled, I think it was four potatoes, but I only actually used three in the soup. Uh, three was plenty, so that's all that I used.
just adding in one cup of water and then adding the thyme and the parsley. I don't know exactly how much I added of each, but I think it was um, about two teaspoons of each, I would say. And now it's time to seal the Instant Pot. So I just put on the cover, put the seal on, and then the button that I use is just the soup mode. And that cooks it for 20 minutes on high pressure. Now it's done, so I'm just turning it off and I'm gonna do a quick release. So I just use a little tea towel to kind of capture all of the steam that comes out of it and that's it. The thing I love about this soup is that it makes such a big batch that I can put it in the fridge and have it for many lunches throughout the week. And I also can even freeze some too. So it uh, definitely goes a long way. And thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and we will see you very soon. Thank you.